Hi guys, um, today we are going to be learning how to make setan, which is a um, vegan type of protein made from vital wheat gluten. Um, this one is going to be really nice and light tasting and um, we're also going to put some garbanzo beans in it. So we're going to start with our food processor and just kind of dump everything in there. Um, we have our garbanzo beans. We want to drain those off. And um, you can save the liquid. If you want the uh, liquid from the garbanzo beans can be used um, in place of like egg whites. If you wanted to make like a meringue or um, a souffle or some pudding, it's a, it's a good source of a vegan option for that. So after you rinse it, you do want to drain them a couple times. Make sure I uh, rinse off some of the starch that's on them. I dump them in. And then um, we're going to take a tomato and just chop it into a couple pieces and put that in there. Um, next I have a nice piece of basil that one of my clients was nice enough to give me. So just chop the hard stem off and we're going to put the leaves in there. pieces of garlic. And um, kind of smashing those makes it easier to get the skins off. And then just pop the whole thing in the food processor. There, see how easy that is? Next, we'll add just a little bit of flavor, so a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Um, so that's kind of going to be up to your individual taste. Um, I'm going to put about a teaspoon of salt. Um, this would also be a super easy one um, to add some fresh green chili to. That's super yummy. Here we have nutritional yeast. Um, if you haven't used that before, it is a super great source of protein and B vitamins. So two tablespoons of that. And then we're gonna put in um, also two tablespoons of olive oil. two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And then we're just gonna blend that up in the food processor. Make a nice, quite ba uh, tasty base for our seton. And by the way, making your own is so much more economical than buying the tiny little packages in the, in the store. This is our bakes. See how nice and fresh that looks? Okay, and then we want um, like a medium sized bowl. And we're going to put our base into that. So we have 
got that. Then, and finally, get to the good part here. We have the um, vital wheat gluten. And you want about a cup and a half of that. So I can just measure it out here. You don't want to put too much um, because then it's going to be dry. But a cup and a half is a good amount. I need just a smidge more. And then we're just going to mix that into our base. So, uh, you can use a rubber spatula or wooden spoon works really well too. And so you're just mixing it. Um, it'll mix up kind of like a bread or a biscuit dough. It'll be a little bit crumbly and then as you're mixing it, mixing it, it'll start to come together. I've noticed that here, um, because we are a drier climate, sometimes you do have to add a, a little bit of additional water. It's like our flowers dry out a little bit extra here, which this one is looking like it's going to need a little bit of water. So um, I'm gonna get just not quite a quarter cup as we want that nice bread dough consistency. There we go. See how it's starting to come together? So this particular one did take that whole, whole um, almost a quarter cup. And it's just some plain water, so you're not adding any additional calories or really changing the recipe that much. We just want to make sure it has that good um, consistency so that it's all sticking together. And then once we have it like that, what we're going to do is take and we're going to knead it a few times and get it like into a nice solid pliable mass. Now you'll notice that as we're kneading it, it's going to start to get more and more pliable. See? Um, gets a little bit sticky, gets a little bit stretchy. My tomatoes are coming out a little bit. It smells delicious. Okay, so then, okay, you can see here, can you, can you zoom in? See how it stretches a little bit? You want that, you don't want it super stretchy, um, but just a little bit to where it starts to break like that. Okay, ah. we have flying tomatoes. So then we take our rolling pin and we're gonna roll it out. Um, if you feel like it's sticking to your surface, you can use a little bit of the um, the gluten flour to keep it from sticking to your countertop. Okay, so we want to roll it out. Sometimes I can get it to roll nice, and sometimes it breaks it. All right. That's pretty good. So pretty uniform. Um, what we want to do next is cut it into our serving pieces, right? There. So we're gonna cut it straight down the middle because we want our servings to be even, right? And then about a hand. Yeah, six. Um, you could get eight servings if you rolled it a little thinner, um, or maybe made your servings a little smaller. There we go. Good. 
So there's six. And then um, you take and you wrap these little guys in tinfoil, which I forgot to get. So give me one second and I will grab tinfoil. I have my steaming tray because you, you steam these and we want to um, see if it can go. Um, what is that maybe four inches five inches and we're just going to wrap up our little servings in here so, and place it in the steaming basket And you just do that until they're all wrapped up nice. Um, you could also use um, parchment paper to wrap them. And then once you have them all wrapped up, which I'm going to have to get more tempo. Once you have them all wrapped up, you uh, are going to steam them for about 20 minutes. I have a steam oven, so um, that's what this rectangular um, baking sheet is for. And we just stick it in the steam oven and steam it at about um, 300 for about 20 minutes. If you don't have a steam oven, you can use a steamer basket from like your pasta pot or something. And again, you just steam it on the stove for about 20 minutes. And then, um, and then they're done. So you could then uh, take and lightly saute them um, just to kind of give them a nice browned crisp appearance on the outside, or you can stick them in the fridge and use them for later. Um, they're, again, they're super high source of vegan protein, and they are fairly easy and inexpensive to make. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to reach out, let me know, and I will talk to you later.